How much do you feel for confidence right now? Tough. Um, very unfortunate. And, um, you know, for a guy, especially in the second year, that um, continues to get better every week, um, you know, it's very unfortunate. But keep his spirits up. You know, we'll get him back um, whenever that is. And, um, you know, he'll be just back better than ever. Have you guys talked, exchanged text messages? Is yeah, yeah. Hard? No, I was, yeah, he is. Um, you know, I was on the phone with him. Um, and, yeah, he's, he's, he is in good spirits. But, you know, anytime that happens and you, you're dealing with an injury, it is, it is tough. Arthur had said that he'd been dealing with stuff for a while, it sounded like. How much, or how do you think that altered maybe some of the connection you guys were able to have on the field? I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I would never put substance into that. I, I mean, everyone's dealing with something, right? It's kind of the nature of playing football. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, with the injury that he has now, um, you know, first and foremost thing we got to do is get him healthy, get him right, and then we'll get back at it. How do you actually go about replacing him? Because you guys have talked, even though maybe that no, the numbers haven't been there. Like, right. You guys have talked about how integral he's been offensively. No doubt. You can't. You can't. Um, you know, you talk about earlier in the year, like a guy at CP, right? Like you had to fill that role with a few other guys. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a similar situation with Kyle. Like, um, you know, he turned into one of our better blocking tight ends. Um, you know, he's such a force in the passing game. So to fill that void, you got to have a couple guys step up. And, you know, we got a great tight end group. And, um, you know, I think we're more than capable of doing that. Why have Ozzy and Demir been so efficient this year? They haven't gotten a ton of balls, but they've made the most of them. Um, I think first and foremost, when they when they catch the ball, they, they're pretty special with it in their hands. And then secondly, you know, with a guy like Kyle inside, you know, it creates some one-on-one matchups. Um, with a guy like Drake outside, you get some one-on-one matchups. And you know, when those guys are getting one-on-one matchups, whether it's Oz or Bird, they're creating separation. They're winning. Um, so it says a lot about who they are in, in these matchups. And moving forward, we need more of that. So kind of following on that. With Kyle being out, do you anticipate maybe teams are going to play y'all a little bit differently? We'll have to see. Um, you know, we'll see starting Sunday. Um, but the way that we run the football and those types of things, um, it's hard to say. Uh, Marcus, what are some of the uh, challenges that the Washington defense presents for you all? Well, it starts up front. Uh, I think those guys are playing at a very high level. Um, you can pick any one of those guys, and you know they've been kind of monsters on that on that end. Um, so for us, being able to get in and out of the huddle, um, do what we do, get on the same page, because uh, if you're not on the same page, those guys will split doubles. They'll you know, create havoc in both the run and pass. Um, so really, it, it starts up front with those guys. And uh, Kendo Fuller, I guess he had a pick six last week. How's he playing on the back end for them? He, on that play specifically, he did a great job. Um, you know, they were playing man. You know, he, you could tell he kind of pattern read it and uh, made a jump on the ball and then finished it. And um, he's a player that throughout his career has done that, has, has been a guy that can kind of see patterns, understand it, make jumps, make plays. Um, and that was a credit to him on that one. And then um, last week against the Bears, how big was that last drive to you know get down there and get in the cruise range and get that conversion on fourth and two? Huge, huge. And a credit goes to our guys up front. I think that fourth and two was a big play. Um, really, it was like, I mean, it was everybody was up on the line of scrimmage, and we found a way to create a seam, and uh, CP was able to convert that into a first down. And um, when you're able to do that, extend drives, give opportunities for more plays, more times than not, you'll find ways to score. Marcus, how, how good does it feel for this team to be in the mix? Uh, you know, this, you know, around the holidays, this late in the season, to be in the mix, to be in the talk, fighting for playoff spots. No doubt. We talk about it all the time, right? When you're playing meaningful football this part of the year, um, you're doing some things right. And what's cool about us is that we can continue to improve. And with this young group of guys that we have, um, you know, there's no complacency. Everyone's trying to get better. Um, so if you can continue to grow and continue to stack days upon each other, um, you know, as you get later in the year, you'll kind of like where you're at. And um, if we can string these together, I think when we get to the point where the season's done, um, we'll be excited about it. This might be a really minutiae question, or maybe not. Every quarterback that I've ever covered wa handles watching tape differently and handles how much they do versus how much they give to the backup versus quarterback coach. How do you prefer and how do you handle that? I think it's a group effort, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's a combination of talking with Rags, talking with Coach London, um, and working with Des. And, um, you know, 
when you have a collaborative effort, I think, you know, you're not going to see everything. You know, there's tape on these guys forever, right? And um, when it comes down to it, I think being able to get to a clear and concise summary of what you think you're going to get, um, how they're going to try to attack you, how we can go and attack these guys, I think is most important. And um, I appreciate our group because everyone does a great job of that, and we get to a point where everyone feels confident going into Sunday. How do you do it, though? I mean, do you do you kind of say, I want the last four, or do you say, I take you know, X number of games, hey, can you watch the first two, hey, can you go watch X or Y? Like, how does that break down? No, I mean, it's not really something specific. Oh, um, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I really believe that everyone's got their own sort of routine and procedure. And then from there, it's being able to say, hey, you know, this is what I saw. You know, this is where I think they try to do some things. And just being able to talk through that. I, I, when I was with Derek in, in Vegas, it was very similar. And uh, I kind of liked the way that we handled that um, because, you know, when you're looking at f maybe four specific games, you're not really getting a whole vantage point of what's going on. Um, so for me, I, I try to stick to my process. And then whatever Des, whatever Coach London, whatever Coach Rags is seeing, just being able to communicate and share those things so that um, we have a good kind of clear picture of what, what's going to happen on Sunday. I guess I, I meant more like when with between Rags and maybe Arthur and, and Des and, and Charles, like whether there was more like you tell them, hey, Watch this. No, that's not. You're going to probably watch them a lot. Right. It's not a specific, okay. like, hey, watch this. It's just kind of, hey, as you go through tape, you know, whatever you see, please just talk about it. We'll, <laughs> we'll go through it and, you know, try to get a, a clear picture of what's going on. Please tell me this. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, to be completely honest, like, you know, he's going to, Des is going to see it differently than Coach London and, and Coach Rags and even Art. Um, so, you know, to be able to get different perspectives and then come together and talk about it. You kind of get it to a point where you have a good summary of what's going on. Hey, on the um, Zacchaeus play, um, what was your vantage point? We couldn't tell if he looked up late or Bob was early or, you know, just uh, looked. Uh, he was open and it looked like he could have caught it, but what it had that look on film? Man? Yeah, unfortunately, with what happened in the play, I had to get it out a little early. Oh, okay. Um, so. You know, those things happen, and you, sometimes you're not able to, to track the ball or see it. Um, it's just, it was unfortunately just a, that case. And, um, you know, I, I trust OZ wholeheartedly. Um, he'll find ways to come, come down with it. When, when you got to go a little early, you put a little, air, a little bit more air under it? You, you try to, yeah, and that's what I, you know, I think that's what I could have done better is give him maybe a little more air so he could find it. Because um, when – you do have to throw it early, and mm -hmm. it's not quite as high. Those guys don't have an opportunity to track it.